Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at Agil Lake South. Let's go explore what this is. Must be something. It's very significant according to the map. Like, visually it's significant. Oops. <laughs> I thought I had this sword, which isn't even a sword. These are the wormy things that we saw a while ago. Yeah, we saw it over up on that ridge, I think. They're selectable as enemies. Oh, they got an eye! Hello! What do you see up there? Fuck you. That one crawling. I love these stone worms. So they don't seem to try to attack me at all. Yeah, they're friendly. It's friendly little wormos. Forlorn Hound Evergo. Try parrying. What, like, is a boss gonna appear if I step on that or something? Or do you have to parry the rock worms and somebody made the mistake of attacking them? Yeah, they're all staring towards the center with those glowing eyes, aren't they? So if I do something in the center, they might all aggro or something? Hmm, I think I'm gonna upset the worms. Enter Evergal? I guess. Sure. Where are we going? Hmm. Bloodhound Knight Dariwill. Okay, their health bar isn't massive. That hurts.
Okay, I'm pretty good at dodging, aren't I? Like, I'm proud of how good I am at dodging. Bloodhound's Fang. First tried him. I feel good about that. Because it wasn't a boss I could just entirely cheese. I had to actually, like, seriously dodge it. All right. But well, the worms are still staring towards the center. Are they happy? Are they angry? They don't seem to care at all. And I can't go back there. So the purpose of that is just for that boss. There was like a glowy bit in that other world I wanted to look at though, but eh, I can't go back. Praise the parrying. Didn't even need to. Rump required ahead. Try parrying. I'm going to assume parrying is good advice. Upvote that. Hello? <laughs> Blink plonk. I guess there's nothing else to do here. I'm not gonna kill these things. They're cute and they don't attack me. Let's look at what we got, that fang. Bloodhound fang. It takes so oh, quite a bit more strength. It's a strength and dex weapon. The damage on it's really good. It's a curved Oh, it's a greatsword. Curved greatsword. Causes blood loss buildup. Let's take a look at the moveset. Quick attacks. Yeah, definitely a great sword. Quite slow attacks. Heavy attack. Special. Oh. Oh, that's a cool attack. It attacks forwards and then jumps back. Speaking of, did I ever look at what the special is for this? No, I never did this. Spinning chain. Look at that. Wait, I need FP. Is it taking up FP? Yeah, it uses FP just continuously as I use it. So I assume this does damage then? Like, this is a continuous damage. Oh, I want to try that on an enemy. Let's try it on these fellows. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, that was actually highly effective. But of course, those enemies are so easy. Let's try it on you. A real enemy that can actually fight back. I need to get them off their horse. I'm sorry, horsey. Okay. If you're able to stun lock the enemy, like if they're pretty easily stunnable, that is so fucking good. Of course, it does use up quite a bit of FP. 
So like, you know, I could have just used magic. It probably would have taken a bit more magic to kill them than that used, but still, that, that's really good. And it causes really fast blood loss buildup as well. I should consider actually doing that. Have to put away the shield, of course, but... Damn, yeah. Like, I don't think that would work on a crab, for example. I don't know, maybe. It wouldn't stun lock them, but... I don't kind of want to try. Okay, let's go try it on a crab. <laughs> hey, turt. You killed one of your babies! What are you doing? Okay, that actually works pretty well on crabs! It doesn't stun them at all, and it doesn't seem to cause any blood loss buildup. I didn't see it, proc? I don't think so. But that actually worked pretty well. Like, that just does a ton of damage. I can't believe you killed one of your babies. Why would you do that? Let's pop a couple of runes. Now I have enough to level up. Let's get another point of intelligence. Now I'm down here around the seaside of runes. I don't think I ever explored this little beach here. We did explore this one. And there's a waterfall like somewhere around here that kind of separates this beach from the other one. And I haven't explored this one. There doesn't seem to be a way to just walk down to it as far as I can tell, but there is a spirit whatever thing over here that I could jump into. Oh, hold on. I haven't looked over here. Hmm. Wait, no, I have been over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I never tried to go, like, here. Oh. Eh, we'll be fine. Seek healing. Just want to see if there's any sort of like a land bridge. That little rock, that little rock bit right there is just above the water. Yeah, no bridge. So that's not going to take me over to the Dragon Island or whatever it is. Lump of flesh. There's a cave! That's not even on the map. Cave ahead. No enemy ahead. Secret passage. Oh. Didn't expect talisman. Are you a special enemy? Or are you just some normie? Try night. Cave ahead, so to speak. Why is it always something incredible? <laughs> Praise the fire. Oh no, that's special. Oh yeah, that's a special enemy.
Ash of War Gravitas. Probably the thing they were using. Looks like it. Like, purpley force beam. It's not a beam. What am I talking about? I don't know. Yeah. I think I need to go back up there at some point. I need to remember to go back up there and check out that like middle low tier. Not all the way down, but just a little bit down because I think I saw like a white wolf there and there could be something there. I was told no enemy ahead. Oh! Oh! This is the beginning! Remember? That ghost in the chair told me to fall down to like learn the arts of war or whatever. Yeah, this is how you get this item that they teased from down there. Halig Drake Talisman. Still don't know how to use talismans. I totally forgot about that item, but yeah, we never were able to get it. Okay, let's teleport back up here. And then fall down to where I think I saw that wolf. Ah. Yeah, I should fall onto it from over there. It's a little bit closer. Oh! Why? 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 Okay. There might be nothing here but the white wolf. Well, I'm not going to kill it. Dog, oh dog. Behold, dog. <laughs> I'm going to leave dog alone and get my souls. I'm back at Agil Lake South. I'm thinking I want to explore this little chunk of land here because it seems pretty small and isolated. And I think that it might lead over to this island, which I really want to check out. Like I'm thinking there might be a pathway somewhere like here. Ah! I heard you. As I was saying, yeah, a distinct chunk of land, not that large, might lead to the island I want to check out. It is unfortunately one of the intended paths because this one has a little spirit guide thing pointing me over to it. I don't like that it's the intended path, but apparently there's multiple intended paths because this points down here and this up here points in here. So yeah, anyway, let's go check it out. I don't think I ever checked out over here. Oh, this is just like leading to this whole... This whole region over here, I think. Yeah. Let's leave that. Hmm. 
Whoa! Okay. They have siege weapons. Trying to parry. Oh, that hammer really wrecks my poise. They explode. Charge! Oh. Ah. That is why there's a stake of... America. Is it really pronounced America? I don't want to pronounce it that way, because then it sounds like America, you know? Stake of America. No. Marika. I'm gonna say Marika. I know that's wrong, but it's better than America. Maybe if I take them by surprise, I can charge. Yes, 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 yes. What's wrong? Does your shield not protect you against the magics very well? Why are you attacking all the way over there? It's never gonna reach. Silly. I'm not reading that note. I know it's just going to be about buttholes. Oh, I can't shoot it myself. I love that it has an animation for when you hit it. Seek bow. Stone sword key! Now I can open the two imp seals. Group ahead. Thank you for letting me know. Do I have enough to level up? No, not even close. I need like three more thousand. Door ahead. Huh? No. No. Let's look at this blood stain. Yep.
Who are you? Wait, are you all going to revive or something? No, they're dead dead. So yeah, who are you? Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Did you just say your dad secreted you? Please pronounce that secreted, otherwise it does not sound right. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle. My soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Of course I'll deliver. Thank you. Dearly. Then please, take this. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Please, if you would, you can be stubborn. It's very rude, but can we read the letter? <laughs> Gorgeous silken handkerchief, lightly stained with blood. Words can be made out within. I'd like to at least, like, get them out of the rain or something. What a horrible place to just stay. I'm getting the feeling this game maybe doesn't have the kind of base or hub system that the previous game had. Where you kind of, like, almost recruit NPCs and they agree to come back to your place. And they all just kind of hang around there. I don't know. I could be wrong. Message ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Message ahead. Be wary of message. <laughs> no message ahead. Tears ahead. Behold, message. <laughs> Fucking Dark Souls players. Seek message. I'm seeking. And I'm finding. First off, message. Yeah, I see the giant. Oh, and a lot of dogs. Be wary of pack. Try taking on all at once. Oh, thank you. That's great advice. How about we take on one at a time? 69. Yeah, that didn't reach. about that. Drink, 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 drink.
What have I done? Wrong thing. No, 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 no. Okay, now we're good. Let's round them all up in Arkham. Got some potions back. Oh, those are new. They got little wingies. They're hacking at the bodies. Just cutting them up. Morning star. Hmm. Quite similar to the flail. I mean, it's just the same thing, but without a chain. It requires way less dex and a little bit more strength. Like same scaling, um, same blood loss buildup. Yeah, so it's just a little bit more of a strength weapon and way less of a dex one. And instead of a spinning chain, you get a kick. Warhammer comprised of a globe attached to a handle. Though a bludgeon, a bludgeon dealing strike damage, the Appellate of stars covered in spikes which cause blood loss. Ironic given its graceful name, this weapon often reeks of blood. Now, yeah, the flail is a flail type, whereas this is technically a hammer type, but both do strike damage. I guess Arkham? Oh, hold on, I didn't get them all. They're quite fast. one in melee. The other one already forgot about me. Oh, their faces are terrifying! Hold on, is the other one... Eh, they're kind of wandering over here. Let's go take care of them. Ah! 
Every time I try to parry, it just is not worth it. But yeah, that face. Okay, that's not a good angle. Look at that face! That's like a worst case scenario for the character creator. That's like when you make a monster in the character creator. Behold, Elden Ring! <gasps> oh my god! That is the Elden Ring! You brilliant bastard! Can I upvote this like... 20 times? That is so clever. It's such a tiny environmental detail to see. I gotta leave a message of my own. I must spread the message. Let's leave a message for the first time. I don't know how this works. Uh, that one. Let's see if there's a template for behold. Yep, behold. Oh yeah, it's under things. Elden Ring? Behold, Elden Ring! Let's see if I get any upvotes. Just, I gotta give credit to the original though, I would not have noticed that, so... Credits to... does it say who? But nah, it doesn't give any username. Cool. Credit, credits to Anonymous. It's one of those dung beetles! Ash of War, mighty shot. I'd love a map of this place. I wonder where it is. Hey, bird. Oh, no, that's an owl. I mean, owls are birds. Rainbow Stone. What is that? That like... Yeah, I've never seen those before. Those little like reddish, pinkish things coming out of the ground. Is that a new type of flower? Or like pickable thing? Oh, hey! Look at that little thing on the map. Is that... perhaps... the map? Does it indicate where the map is with like a subtle little icon? I don't know if that was over here as well. Is it in any other regions? Eh, well there's like fog of war. Oh, but there is one here. You can kind of just see just above the crosshair. Half covered in fog. I think that's where the map is. So let's continue down the road then.
Sight of Grace and a... Oh, there, oh, there's a traitor there. Yeah, there's a donkey horse thing. I'm very good at telling animals apart. Donkey horse thing. We've got 3,000. Note on demi-human mobs. I'll take all, <clears throat> all notes. Crimson Amber Medallion raises maximum HP. Oh, I want that. I've got some armor, iron, and scale stuff. Probably not things I want. I would like a better... Oh, they have a stone sword key. Don't need one right now, but still. Uh, I would like a better shield, if possible. And I do want the medallion. Where do medallions go? Oh, that's where talismans go. There's just a slot for it that I just never bothered looking at. Okay. Well, the medallion is a talisman, so I think I definitely want that one. Otherwise, it's fire damage negation, holy damage negation, potency of incantations, and enhances roars and breath attacks. Is what I do an incantation? Like, is that magic? I feel like it's not. I feel like maybe that's more of a cleric thing. Yeah, let's go with max HP. Um, oh my god. Look at what that does to my HP. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I was comparing it to the left number, but that's only 422 because I'm damaged. I thought I was raising it by like 120 or 30. But no, it's raising it from 522 to 553. Significant, but... Not huge. This round shield actually has slightly better guard damage negation. Well, for physical anyway, I didn't bother comparing the magical negation. And the guard boost is also 42 instead of 40. So, let's get it. Minor upgrade, but worth it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look anywhere near as cool as the large leather shield. Which looks kind of beautiful. But, yeah, it's better at everything except a little bit worse at holy. And it's a bit heavier, but eh, it's fine. It is so bland compared to this work of leather art. Comparatively light for its size, this shield is easy to handle, but lacks a true metal shield's ability to negate damage. What does this one say? Though its damage negation may be lacking compared to a metal shield, it can handle a wider range of attack affinities. I can't remember which note I bought from this merchant. Was it Demi-Human Mobs? Slay the Demi-Human Mobs leader first and the rest will lose hope and panic. I think it was either that or the Stone Digger Trolls. The heads of the Stone Digger Trolls bear old wounds. Not sure how to make use of that. I guess hit him in the head and it'll do a lot of damage? Let's use an Ash of War. I'm going to use Gravitas. Um, not because I actually want to change the special from Spinning Chain to Gravitas. I like Spinning Chain, but it changes it into a magic flail. So yeah, the Ashes of War change more than just the special. I think I talked about this before, but it seems to be basically a replacement for the system in Dark Souls 3, where you would use a gem with the smith to change your weapon type. This time it's just not consumable, and it also changes the magic attack of your weapon. So yeah, this will make it a magic flail. So it'll do less physical damage, but it'll do magic damage. Which scales with int, which I'm quite good at. So it'll scale less with strength and dex, but more with int. Although I'm not... I'm only getting a bonus 12 damage from that scaling of the int, to be honest. It's not great, but... If you compare the basically 80 plus 80 damage compared to what it did in just pure physical, it should be more. So yeah, let's try it. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. You don't actually have to change the type or anything like that. You can just change out the special if you want. So I can change the special attack, but not change the type of the weapon. But I can't change the type of the weapon and keep the original special attack. Unfortunately, which is what I'd prefer. 
but um, yeah, let's do magic. And I should be able to undo it. Like, yeah, undo enhancement. So if this sucks, I can always go back. Oh, I also stored a bunch of stuff in the chest at the side of Grace just to clear up my inventory of all the old pieces of armor and weapons that I'm probably never going to use. Does this thing have any effect? No, it looks the same. It's not all glowy or anything. Maybe you want to hit an enemy, it'll look glowy. Earth tree ahead. Why is it always night? Ranged battle ahead. Rump. Sniper ahead. Whoa, I heard something. Ah, okay, that's what I heard. <laughs> get the map, get the map, get the map. I can't look at the map because I'm in combat. Oh, it's a giant with a bow. I don't know if you can see it. It's at the very corner of the screen. Extreme top right. They're drawing. Aiming. I guess I should go try to kill them. Is that a side of grace? What's glowing over there? I don't think it is a side of grace. Maybe it's one of those lightning patches with those lightning flowers or something. Cool how they're felling trees. Much more peaceful. So, is this the castle where I'm supposed to deliver the letter? Probably. Likely weak foe. Try jump attack. Didn't expect weak foe. Okay, now we can take a look at the map. We have some sort of a swamp thing over here. Something of note up there. Little lake. Little village here. That must be an Erd tree. Is there such a thing as an Erd tree, or is there just the one big one, the Erd tree? I mean, there's multiple smaller glowing trees that we've seen, so I assume there's. It's an Erd tree. Yeah, some ruins there, there. Bunch of stuff over here, a whole lot. Anything showing a pathway to this island? 
No. Hmm. Makes me worry there might not be a pathway to the island. This kind of looks... I don't know, this looks odd. Like, what is that trying to show me on the map? Is there like a vortex in the water or something? Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, well, this side of Grace is pointing towards the castle, so I think that's the intended route, which means I'm going to do everything else on this little island first. Starting with checking out that. <laughs>